Hello and welcome to another video on the raster test channel. I promise I won't keep you long, so don't scroll away. So we have here a um, very simple Cypress test where we navigate to a page and then we click, type, clear. Um, so basically a test that uh, fills a form and then checks for a specific message. So let's see how this looks in real life. So as we can see, it's opening the page and it will enter all the information and then it will submit. Now this one will fail because I made it fail on purpose. But what I want to point your attention to is not the cats, but actually this part right here. As you see, we have two actions actually in one. So we have this field and then we click the field and at the same time or after we perform the click we type something in this field now this is called chaining in cypress and i want to ask you do you know how much you can actually chain i honestly have no idea how much chaining you can do um, but let's give it a try so would you believe me if i told you that you can actually make all of these tests in a chain what do i mean so by the magic of editing, I give you one, two, three, and now we have ci.visit, and then we have one get, one click, a get. So basically, this whole test is a chain. Now, will this actually work? Let's see. It should, yeah, it performs all of the operations in one go. Now I read, I wrote an article where I present exactly this right here, and I want you to write in the comments how much or what do you think is the limit for chaining, or and at the same time, do you use chaining, or do you prefer single commands? Write your opinions in the comments, and as always, thank you for watching the video. Do not forget to rest, then test, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one, and bye bye.